Pakistan is sixth most populous country in the world. According to IMF, the annual per capita water availability is perilously close to water scarcity threshold of 200 cubic meters. On the other hand, Pakistan has the world fourth highest rate of water consumption in agriculture, aquaculture, and urbanization. If the same rate of water consumption continues, Pakistan will be the high-risk water scarce country by 2025. There is need to take this issue very seriously and conserve as much water as possible for sustainable future. As you know, traditional fish farming in Pakistan requires a large land area. Like one fish pond needs three to 10 acres to be built, while the maximum production capacity of a fish pond of one acre is almost 800 kilograms. With the increase in population, it logically follows that there will be increase in demand of fish to meet the consumption needs. Another problem is that all this water is discharged and drained at the time of harvesting. This water is not drinkable and polluted by nitrogenous waste. An added problem is species diversification. Mostly, Different fish species, they cannot be co-cultured easily in one fish pond. So for instance, a traditional fish farmer will need one pond for rohu, one for tilapia, and one for catfish. So it means building more ponds and consuming more water for species diversification. Can we afford this much land and water to be consumed? No. We cannot. We came up with in-pond raceway system, or IPRS technology, which can address all these issues. In-pond raceway system technology was successfully introduced for the first time in Pakistan in 2019. In IPRS production system, fish are cultured in a very small area of a raceway, which is 220 cubic meter only. Fish are confined in raceways, and water is flowing in the pond just like a river. It enters in raceways where fish are stocked. Then it reaches poison zone. There it slows down. Solid waste settles at the bottom. Up to 70% of this solid waste can be collected by using the vacuum pumps. This relatively clean water doesn't need to be changed for up to three years. Another benefit of IPRS technology is that species diversification is now possible in the same pond. A farmer can culture 10 different species in 10 raceways in the same pond. So now you can imagine that IPRS technology, how much water and land can be saved. In Pakistan, fish farmers, they welcomed IPRS technology. And in last two, two years, 27 units or raceways have been built and adopted in Punjab and Sindh. Within our work, for the first time, female students doing their specialization in fisheries and aquaculture, they received hands-on training in field. This is a very important step towards women entrepreneurship in this extremely male-dominated industry. We also presented this technology and our work at various national and international platforms. So if we disseminate information about IPRS technology to all stakeholders, including fish farmers, policymakers, officials of Department of Fisheries, potential investors, and academia, we can make this technology available at country level. If we adopt IPRS technology, we can revolutionize the future of fish farming through this sustainable 
and climate-friendly intervention. Thank you.